Hello everybody, welcome back to Clean Film Wanted. If you do make it to New Zealand and you go to Hobbiton, you may notice that there's a ton of planters all over the place. One of them, actually I like a lot of them, but one of them I really do like. I'm going to show you a picture of it. That planter, I took it into SketchUp and I built it out. Um, got the perspective right, built it out so I got the right sizes for it. But, I don't have pieces of wood the right size. So, what we're going to do is use these two. I do want to say that if you wanted to put this together with something like pocket holes or even just butt joint everything and use nails, you'd probably be okay. Because I have the tools that I have, I'm going to make it a little bit more fancy. I'm going to rebate the bottom, going to dado the ends, which probably is not the smartest move because those dados will probably collect water, but uh, I'll, I'll deal with it. I'm going to put my headphones on and get this going. This is the sidewall rebate. So this sits in there rather nicely, but this needs to be the width of this. So between here and here, so I'm just gonna put it on here, find out what that distance is, set a marking gauge to it, and then rip that off. That's where I need my triangle to be, because this will be a dado, or I'm sorry, this will be a, a rebate rabbit, so this is where my triangle starts. If you've watched Roy Underhill at all, ever in your life, you're going to learn that no project is complete until you cut yourself with a hand tool. And uh, there you go. No blood, sweat, and tears, right?
that. Like that. This is a spacer, just so it's not clamping to itself. Put that in there, and then that's my clamp block. I can remove the spacer then, and there we go. That's my goal. That's what I think is going to work. I have no idea. I'm going to try it. I wish I could do it on the inside. This is another one of those things. I didn't really think this through, so I don't even know that this is going to work. So yes, this this is a cross grain glue up. At least half of it is cross grain, and it is therefore a poor judgment move on my part. If you are doing a project like this, you should rotate the grain of those end pieces about 45 degrees so that they end up horizontal with the ground. Now, while it is a, a poor judgment move, I did kind of do it on purpose. This planter would have been built in a in a shop or studio somewhere, distressed there and then brought out to the filming location and left there for a year before filming even began so that it would properly weather. I was hoping to try and force some of that distressing into this. Again, if you're doing a project like this at home and you're using pocket holes or nails, you, you just don't need to glue it. You don't need it to be watertight like this. I was hoping to have this all done in a day if I had power tools and wood that wasn't bowed and cupped it probably would have been done in a few hours, all of it, but that's not what I'm working with and this is how it goes. So next time we'll come back, it'll be another semi-short episode. I hope these are short and we'll make the X-frame legs for this and figure out some way of attaching the X-frame to that. Take care, catch you next time, subscribe. You are? Hey! Yeah. 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 There's yeah. Kurt. Like this. Happy New Year! I, I love your New Year celebration! Oh, and okay. I love it too! Happy New Year! Hey! Happy New Year!